What are the architectural changes required to allow more realistic failover? The Hadoop 2.x allows a Hadoop cluster to have two name nodes. One of them will act as an active name node or ANN and the other will act as passive. The passive name node is known as standby name node or SNN. Apart from these, there is a separate secondary name node available which periodically takes updates from ANN. Data nodes must send block reports to both ANN and SNN because the block mappings are stored in a name node's memory and not on disk. When the ANN is working, the SNN would just act as a silent node recording the updates. The name nodes must use highly available shared storage to share the edit log. When a standby name node takes over, it reads up to the end of the shared edit log to synchronize its state with the active name node, and then continues to read entries as they are written by the active name node. Clients must be configured such that, in case of failure of ANN, client can automatically be able to contact SNN. If SNN fails due to some reason, then the secondary name node can take over. How is ANN failure tackled? As we discussed, the SNN will automatically take over the duties of ANN when ANN fails. The failover is immediate, almost instantaneous, as all the data nodes reported to SNN2. The failover in this case is hot, which provides more reliable working of HDFS. As two name nodes are available, the Hadoop cluster is highly efficient. That is, it provides minimum downtime in case of ANN crash. The upgrade activities can be easily carried out on ANN without introducing downtime. This feature is known as high availability. It improves the reliability of Hadoop cluster. Who handles failover in Hadoop 2.x? Failover. The transition from ANN to SNN is known as failover. It is managed by a new entity in the system called the failover controller. Failover controllers are pluggable, but the first implementation uses Zookeeper to ensure that only one name node is active. Each name node runs a lightweight failover controller whose job is to monitor its name node for failures using a simple heart beating mechanism and to trigger a failover should do a name node fail. The heartbeat is a signal sent by a node to failover controller, indicating it is alive. There are two types of failovers, graceful failover, ungraceful failover. Graceful failover. Failover may be initiated manually by an administrator. For example, in the case of a routine maintenance. This is known as a graceful failover, since the failover controller arranges an orderly transition for both name nodes to switch roles. Ungraceful failover. In the case of an ungraceful failover, it is impossible to be sure if the failed name node has stopped running. For example, a slow network or a network partition can trigger failover transition.